friends and welcome to Knowledge by Nature. In today's video, I want to give you a quick glimpse at what I'm going to be using for our human body study. If this is something that is interesting for you, I ask that you stick around. If this is your first time here, I am a homeschool mom to a first grader. We love all things books and homeschool and sharing our journey with you. And if that is something that you are interested in, I would love if you joined us and hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. With this human body study, I really wanted to keep things quite simple, not only for myself, but for her. I had picked up two different book resources. I believe I picked up this human body scratch and learn from the book outlet. And I believe this one was purchased from Amazon. I have had this one for quite a while, so I can't actually remember where I got this. But this is what I am going to use for the bulk amount of the teaching. And this is for hands-on fun for grades K through three. And so this is broke up into different contents here. And that is how I am planning to do this. So one lesson, we're going to do the introduction of all about your body. Lesson two, your cells, your skeleton, your muscles, your skin, hair, and nail, and so forth. Each one of these I'm going to do. Now, most of the time, I will probably do maybe two lessons per week, maybe a little bit more, but I don't want this to consume homeschool. So I don't foresee this like an everyday thing. I would like to spread this out a little bit. And so we will probably do this two times a week. So here, I'll just show you the very first part here and it's all about your body. And so it has a small amount of information, some fun facts, and then we have this image here that kind of shows us all about our body and everything that's there and some more fun facts. And then it comes with little activities. So it fills in the blanks of using the words. So we use, we blank with our eyes. And so we will fill all of those in. And then we have another section without your body. Life would be very different. Make a list of 10 or more things your body allows you to do. And then that is all there is for that one. And so they're not very long, which I enjoy. And I also like that they're also color coded. So you can see that the cells are all blue. Then we have the section with the skeleton and your muscles are different colors. So I think we're very much going to enjoy this. And you could probably just take this and have a really decent unit study with just this. But I did want to add just a few more things. And one, of, and one of the things that have her just so crazy ready to start this is this little squishy human body. So she's excited about the human body study simply because she knows she's going to get to play with this. And so we are going to open this up and we're going to examine it. And of course, during different parts where we're talking about the heart and the lungs, we're really going to delve into this and open it up. But for the most part, she's just going to be able to monkey with it, just kind of get um, familiar with the way the body looks and how it might work as we go into more detail with our human body activity book. So again, these two things right here would probably be plenty to do a unit study with. But alas, I have another book. This one I thought was just really, really neat. There's not much to it, but it is a scratch and learn human body. And it comes with the little scratcher. It has a very small amount of information here at the beginning, but then we come in here. And so whatever day we're working, if we're working on the skeleton, we'll come to this page that day and we will use our little scratcher and we will scratch the things off and go into more detail about the skeleton. So again, we're going into more detail, but it's not something crazy. And so we will use this with the activity that we are studying for the day. And so that will be pretty fun to continue this and be able to scratch it off. Then the last few things that I have added is this was something I had actually totally forgot I had. I believe I pulled this off the internet back when she was in preschool. And really at that time, it was just a little too much for her. And so we didn't really use it. Well, like I said, I totally forgot about it. This is a really neat little magic school bus study. And it's really quite extensive. It goes through like the first three 
um, seasons, I think. And with each episode, you watch the episode, you have this like hands-on section where you do some things, and then this is like your little worksheet that you do. So there were a few that kind of went along with the human body, so I pulled those out so that we could do those when we get to that part in the activity book. So right here, we're going hands-on, and this is just kind of talking about digestion. And so we'll do that, we'll eat, we'll kind of examine our teeth, things like that. The next one that we're gonna do is we will watch the episode of Inside Ralphie, and this is where it talks about germs. And so we'll talk about that, and then we'll also do this little tiny experiment with some apples. I looked and I was hoping this was something I could share with you, but I don't think it's available anymore. I had found it on ourcozyden.com, but when I went to look, it was no longer available. You might search Pinterest to see if you could find it, but it's really, really neat. And I think it's great for like kindergarten and first grade. Like I said before, for preschool, she wasn't really interested in it, but I think she will really enjoy it this time. I have another one, which is episode flexes its muscles. And so we will do a really neat little thing with a chicken bone here. And then our little activity is here where we're kind of talking about some things with our arm, our hand, in similarity to the chicken wing. And the last one that was in that set that I was able to find that had to do with the human body is called works out. And so this is a heart section. So when we are studying the heart, we will do this. We're gonna do some testing with like our heart rate and things like that. I think this will be really, really fun. Again, I wish this is something that I could have shared with you down in the link, but I couldn't find it. There were so, so many of them and I'm actually going to continue to use these for the remainder of our first grade year because I think she's really, really going to enjoy these. So I'm gonna take a test with these. If she enjoys all of those, then we're going to. And it's just a little bit fun because you get that one extra episode every day of TV that kind of makes it a little bit more exciting than when you don't have a whole lot of TV. The very last resource that I have to go with this is from Teachers Pay Teachers. This was a really, really large set. I ended up buying like the entire set. You could have just bought the human body, but you also had the availability for just a few dollars more to get like some language arts in it also. And so one of the things that I was printing off, like I said, there was like 177 pages. So I did not print all of these things off. There are so, so many extra things that are with this that I'm about to show you. And I will put a link right here of to where I purchased this from Teachers Pay Teachers so that if you're interested in getting this, like I said, you can get just the human body section, the scientific section, or you can, for a few dollars more, you can get the entire like language arts and everything. This is just some copy work that I thought would be really nice for her to just copy. We probably won't even do all of it at once, but we might just do like one sentence a day because we have like the human body, the heart, the lungs. So we might copy the sentence the day that we're doing that specific study. This is a little sight word search. So she's going to find the word these, color it all in. This is just a part of the like language art section that I printed off that I thought would be a little bit fun. And it's giving her a body to examine. Then we have a sentence scramble sheet where she will cut these out. She'll paste it up here to make a complete sentence and then she will copy the sentence. And so here you can see that we are working with the brain. This is a brain that we will actually color and attach to the body that we are going to trace. So I will get a big piece of paper and I will trace her body on day one and then we will attach these sheets as we go. So by the time that we're finished, she will have all the major organs added to her body. So that is what this is, is she will color the brain and then we will attach it to her size paper body. Here again is a sentence scramble with the lungs. So I tried to print off all of these that we could attach to the body. Here is the lungs that we will color and add to the little paper person that she will make. The intestines, the stomach, 
This is my blood diagram. And so this is just talking about the red blood cells, white blood cells, and the platelets. And so I will find a few extra things that we'll do kind of along with this, which we have one of those in here that we'll be able to go along with. And then we have the heart. I really think all of these things put together is going to really have a very nice rounded unit study. Um, like I said, she's really just interested in playing with a squishy human body, but that's okay. We learn through play. And so I might go to the library one day and add in like a few books if I see on the body, but really this is sufficient. It's more than enough. I will put links down in the bottom of where I got all of these things. Like I said, I believe this was Amazon book outlet and this one was Rainbow Resources. But I will put links down below so that you can see exactly the ones that I've purchased as well as where I found my teachers pay teachers. So if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so that we can keep seeing you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye friends.